what's up? It's Callista, and I am super excited because I get to share with you guys uh, the results of some tests that I did with some of my guildmates uh, around darkness. So at the end of the day, my question was, how high of an essence level can two people really get trying to rally a darkness on their own? Uh, so a couple of things to set this up for you guys. The first one is, please remember, everybody should know this, but if you don't, Please remember that the specs of the rally leader are the specs that the entire troop uh, kind of participation is going to take on. So what that means is uh, if your rally leader has T3, even if I join that rally and I send in T3, my T3 are not going to be any different from his T3. So the rally leader is really, really important. He basically dictates how strong the troops are, what their defense is like, what their HP is like, what their boosts are like. His gear and his um, gems are going to impact your troops, right? So when you're setting up rallies, that's why it's really important that you want to make sure that the strongest person in your guild is the one that is ultimately um, kind of commandeering the rally. The second thing is for these tests, I also went ahead and had the rally leader use a 20% attack boost, and I had both participants using a 20% army size boost. You can imagine two people, it's a pretty small group group of troops that are going to be going against some of these really big darkness. So we wanted to kind of put our best foot forward without going too crazy with a 50% boost, 20% you can totally get it with guild coins. Uh, and then the next thing that I wanted to mention that I have up on the screen right now, um, I quickly pulled together just kind of a cheat sheet. Uh, from a darkness perspective. So you can see that there's five types of color essences and there's five darkness levels and those darkness levels have approximate essence levels that you can find within those darkness levels. So there's a lot of levels going on. At the end of the day, I did have a guildmate contact IgG and we did learn that the prizes that you get, so to speak, for after the transmutation occurs, really depends on the color of the essence, not necessarily on the essence level. So if you get a golden essence, whether it's 16, 17, 18, 19, that doesn't necessarily impact how good your prize is. What it impacts is how hard it is to beat that darkness, right? So you can use it as a testing opportunity. So so let's get right into it. T3 and T3 is going to be the first test that we're going to be leading. My guildmate uh, Nab Slayer, uh, also part of BRR, he's going to be the rally leader for T3. At this point um, in the game, he did have only T3, so he is going to be leading the rally. So again, remember what I said before, whoever is the rally leader will basically impact what everybody's troops look like. We are going to try a darkness level three, and the essence level is going to be a level nine, and it's a blue one. Uh, you can kind of see the wall is 1.2 HP, not terrible. Quite a few troops, right? Over a million troops. Uh, so I think the key here for us is going to be making sure that we are not kind of overextending ourselves in terms of the amount of troops, especially when we're talking about T3. Uh, we want to make sure also that we have the right composition. So it did take a bit to create some of these tests because we did have to make sure that we were scouting, that we were finding the right composition um, that Nab Slayer could effectively counter. Uh, you're going to notice that throughout all the tests, we are going to try to get the highest level essence. I'm going to find the ones that uh, kind of complements it really well from a countering perspective. So you can see here, um, Nab went ahead, launched the rally. Again, it's a darkness level three, an essence level nine. Um, and you can see we were able to take it down pretty easily. Um, I would also mention that when you are doing darkness, um, rallies it's pretty cool to actually look at the animation i usually don't look at animations especially if it's like a one-to-one -one attack but i think for rallies animations can be really helpful the animations are really helpful because you can see where you are absolutely getting tanked at the wall right so the difference with these darkness is the wall right you're not going to find the player that has a six million hp wall but you will easily find darkness that have that and i think the highest that i've seen is up to nine million probably there's there's some that have a higher 
level. So it's really hard to take it down. And when these darkness started coming out in the game is when you started seeing people all of a sudden unlocking their T4 Siege, myself included. I had seen no need for it, hadn't bothered to uh, research that. But I would say with the darkness, some of the higher level ones, to be able to bring down those walls, you definitely need it. Um, with the T3, T3 test, the highest we were able to get was a level 3 darkness and a uh, level 9 essence. Now for a T4, T3 test. So again, keeping in mind what we said before, I'm going to be leading this um, rally. I'm going to have uh, my troops from a T4 perspective joining the rally, but my partner is going to go ahead and send T3. You can see we have about 540,000 troops um, and we are walking to this darkness. It is a level 4 darkness. And we'll see the essence in a little bit. And by the way, guys, this was a testing. Um, it was a level 12 dark essence. Okay, so we went from a T3, T3 combo being able to take down a level 9 to a T4 leading T3 combo being able to take down a level 12. So that's a huge huge jump right you're going to see that those jumps get significantly smaller because at this point with a level 12 we are taking down a level 4 darkness which is a purple essence and it's the second strongest essence right so you're going to get pretty good rewards again just taking a quick look at the animation you can see here the wall is giving us some trouble uh because we're not necessarily kind of you know walking right through it uh we're losing some morale that's something to be mindful of is how, how much morale you're losing at the wall because that is uh morale that your enemy is going to stay at 100 so you're basically walking in with a significant disadvantage um, then it's a matter of how strong your troops are so what kind of saved us in this case is we were already down to a 74 percent morale but by the time we hit their army you can see that their morale just started plummeting because our troops were significantly stronger and again, it's a matter of finding the right darkness. That is what took the longest, guys, doing some of these tests, was just finding the right darkness and figuring out what made sense. Next is a T4 and T4 test. This is a, a level 4 darkness and a level 14 dark essence. And the essence is also purple. So you're going to see, I think 14 is the highest purple essence so it's going to be the hardest level for darkness to be able to defeat uh again i am leading this one at this point my partner also had t4 unlocked so he's able to send over t4 540,000 troops is what we are sending into these darkness and remember the kind of cool thing about doing some of these tests is it can feel really overwhelming when you're looking at the amount of troops that your troops are going against right they're going over well over a million troops in terms of who they need to defeat and then keep in mind that there's always that you know nifty little wall that you kind of have to get through so we're marching to this i think the interesting thing about this darkness is going to be uh taking a look at what the animation looks like and what we see at the wall uh we're able to defeat it so again t4 and t4 were able to defeat a level 4 darkness with a level 14 dark essence so a purple essence and you can see here uh that darkness had over 2 million troops to our little measly 540,000 we had very little dead um they had significantly more we're going to take a quick look at the battle and you can kind of see here what happens and this is kind of interesting and we've tested this um in a, in a few different ways to kind of see uh, what happens with some of these walls you would need to play around with the amount of siege that you're sending in so in this case we only sent in i want to say about 21,000 t4 siege uh, so not a tremendous amount but enough to be able to bring down that wall in a semi-decent time you can see our morale is already to 67 percent they're at 71 it looks rough there for a minute you can see our morale is definitely going down faster than theirs and there's this turning point in the battle where they are going to start losing morale faster than us by a smidge. They kind of come out to meet us, and that's where we're able to defeat them. We were still at 20%. They were at zero. I have seen those morales drop to 1%. Now, I am hella excited because we have a special bonus test. I was able to get a billion might rally leader. Uh, and myself as the measly little, you know, me, the little guy, T4, um, to figure out how high we can go. And the big question was, 
can we get a golden essence with only two people? And the lovely, gorgeous, fabulous, super awesome Roman S um, agreed to be my partner on this one. Um, it's been incredibly busy, I think, for the guild overall. Um, but she made time to participate. She's almost at 1.4 billion mites. So she is super strong. Obviously, she is going to be the rally leader. So the cool thing is, my little measly troops get to have all her cool research and take on her characteristics from a jewels perspective and a gears perspective. So my troops were totally like living the Hollywood life um, when they were part of this rally, uh, which is really cool. So again, the goal here was, can we get a golden essence, which is the top essence? And remember what IGG support told my guildmate, it doesn't matter in terms of like the actual darkness level as much as the color of the essence. So if you get a golden essence, you're awesome. You're going to get probably the best type of prize that you can. And then within that golden essence, it is also random, right? So all the golden essences have a variety of different, um, you know, prizes that you can get. So she and let's say Romanes and I both have golden essences. We won't necessarily get the same thing after transmutation, but it'll be part of that kind of golden essence package. Um, so we went ahead, we found a darkness. It is a level five darkness. So golden essences are level fives, the hardest ones in the game. And this is a level 15 dark essence, right? So have Romanus's army is launching. This one was nerve wracking. We were so excited because I think that was a big question. We were hella pumped when we got it. I think my whole guild was kind of, kind of watching and they were kind of messing with us a little bit. Shout out to CJ who helped us find this darkness and Babby on our, in our guild that was also helping make sure that people knew we were doing a test and not sending in troops. That was super helpful. But we were really excited because it is doable to two man a golden dark nest. It is not easy. You're going to need a hella good player to kind of lead that rally, but it is doable. And you can see here, um, again, a level 15 dark essence. We were going against 3.1 million troops to our 540,000. So that is crazy, right? I didn't know if we were going to be able to do it, but we did. And the wall was pretty strong also. Um, it was a really close match. You're going to be able to see it in the animation. Again, love the animations for the darkness. I just feel like they kind of tell the story in a really kind of nifty way. You can see the way that we set up our attack, though. We made the defenders charge out to us. So we wouldn't have to worry about breaking down the wall first. The wall... Um, here, I think, was about five and a half million HP. Super rough to be able to break it down. We tried all cav, all infantry. So it was easier to have them charge out to us so our morale wouldn't drop right away before we got to them. And the way to do that is making sure that you have all your heroes set up as range, that you have all your troops set up as ranged and it makes your uh, defenders basically come out to you so you don't have to worry so much about the wall you can see there from a morale perspective their morale is going down significantly faster than ours is regardless of the fact that they have over three million troops and we only have five hundred and forty thousand we ended up winning this was super sweet uh i would say it's like the sweetest victory because i again i don't think any of us were sure if this was something that was doable Hope you guys found some of this stuff interesting. This was really fun. I think it's fun to kind of experiment and understand what the limitations are of some of these challenges that we can kind of set up for ourselves. Huge, huge thanks to Nap Slayer who helped me with the T3 and the T4 tests. Huge thank you to Roman S um, who helped me with kind of that bonus test. Uh, with a billion might. Um, and then also thank you to CJ, thank you to Babby for again helping me out with some of this stuff. Again, hope this was interesting. If you guys have any ideas for other challenges, tests, things that we could run, definitely let me know in the comments below. Thank you so, so much for watching.